Welcome to the Basin Logistics Training Program. Today we are going to cover the Track and Trace process. Track and Trace is communicating with the carrier to make sure everything is on schedule. The key to effective Track and Trace is to monitor appointment times and update check calls on a regular basis. The process can be broken down into six main duties. Before pickup, call the carrier approximately one hour before pickup appointment time. At pickup, call the carrier at the scheduled pickup appointment time. Loading. Call the carrier two hours after the scheduled pickup appointment time to confirm the loading time to depart to the consignee or customer. Before delivery. Call the carrier one hour in advance of the delivery appointment time while en route to the consignee. At delivery. Call the carrier at the scheduled delivery appointment time to confirm arrival at the consignee. After delivery. Call the carrier two hours after the scheduled delivery time to confirm the delivery and request sign bills of lading and or packing slips. Reminder, more or less calls will sometimes need to be made. Please use your best discretion. As mentioned earlier, check calls are what we use to track all calls made to the carrier. You will need to update the check calls every time you speak with a carrier or dispatcher about a load. This is important because the customer can see the check call updates. Before we can walk you through the steps a load goes through during track and trace, we will need to teach you about the check call process. Check calls are the lifeblood of the track and trace process. They are essential to making sure our loads are delivered on time and if any unexpected issue arises, it can be addressed promptly. The button to update check calls can be found in two places. Here on the track and trace home screen page or in the load details down in the carrier information section. Once you click on the Check Calls button, you will be prompted with some boxes to fill in. The most commonly used EDI reason will be Normal Status. The date and time fields are required, and the text input is important as our customers can see what we enter into this field. After you have inputted all the information you need, click Save, and the Check Call will be updated. Now that you know about the Check Call process, we can move on to outlining and starting the Track and Trace process. In addition to updating check calls, you also need to update critical load information into Aljax. We will walk you through how to update the steps during this video walkthrough. Those steps briefly outlined are dispatched, pickup, loaded, before delivery, consignee, and delivered. To start the track and trace process, after you have logged onto Aljax, navigate to the top left of the page and by using the drop down arrow, select Basin Logistics Track and Trace page, or BLTNT page. After selecting the Basin Logistics Track and Trace page, your screen will refresh and look like the one pictured here. We find that organizing the list by pickup appointment date is most helpful. To do this, simply click on the Pickup Appointment Date button located here. When prioritizing loads, be sure to take into consideration the different colors that are shown. The yellow bar means that a potential pickup and delivery is upcoming. The green bar means that potential pickup and deliveries have been missed. To simply track multiple shipments at once, we have created a call time tracking form. Using pro number 56156 from the previous image shown, you will need to call at 2 o'clock to see if they are on time for the 3 o'clock appointment. Call at 3 o'clock to see if they have arrived at the appointment and then call at 5 o'clock to see if they have been loaded. These times are based on the check call times outlined earlier in the video as well as Basin Logistics policy. Now that you have a basic understanding of the track and trace process, we can show you the walkthrough. To start the process, click on the status box of the load you are tracking. After you have clicked on the status button, the load will open so you can view the details. After you have opened the load, the information you will need to gather is the PRO number, the customer name, the pickup city and state, the delivery city and state, pickup appointment time, delivery appointment time, carrier dispatcher name, and the carrier contact number. The first thing you will need to do though is click the plus button to expand the details of the load, located here. Be sure to gather the pertinent information from this section while you are here. This includes the customer name, the pickup and delivery city and state, as well as the pickup delivery appointment times. 
After you gather this information, you will need to scroll to the bottom of the page to find the section with the carrier information. Here you will find the dispatcher contact and phone number. The information that you should have gathered from the steps above are the PRO number, 55779, the customer name, VCI Incorporated, Pickup City and State, Sturgis, Michigan, Delivery City and State, Midway, Kentucky, the pickup appointment time, 523 at 4 p.m., the delivery appointment time, 524 at 7 a.m., the carrier dispatcher name is Jim, and the carrier contact number is 414-570-2180. Now that you have collected all of the pertinent information, you can start making your check calls. The check call process can be broken down into six different calls. The first check call you should make is before pickup and is made one hour prior to the pickup appointment time. Based on the example we are outlining for you, you should call Jim at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time to verify that he will be on time for the 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time pickup. After you call and confirm the time that the driver will arrive at the shipper, you can fill out the appropriate boxes for Will Pickup in Aljax. The next check call you should make is at pickup and is made at the scheduled pickup appointment time. Following the example, Jim has told you that he has arrived at the shipper at the scheduled appointment time and is about to be loaded up. You can update Aljax with this information in the Arrived at Pickup box. Once you update Aljax with the new information, it will progress the load from the next step from dispatched to pickup. The next check call will be made to the carrier two hours after the scheduled pickup time to confirm if the truck was loaded. There is a two hour grace period that Basin Logistics has before it starts charging for detention. Following the example, you should call Jim at five o'clock Central Standard Time to verify that he has been loaded and is on the way to the receiver. Jim tells you that he was loaded up at 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time and is en route to the receiver. You should be able to update Aljax based on the information given to you by the driver. Once you update Aljax with the new information, it will progress the load to the next step from pickup to loaded. Just as a reminder, if at two hours the driver is still not loaded, we need to contact the account manager so that they can notify the customer because they are going to start incurring detention costs. The next check call will be made to the carrier one hour in advance of the delivery. Based on the example, you should call Jim at 5 o'clock a.m. Central Standard Time to confirm that he will either be at the scheduled appointment time or that he has arrived early and is waiting to be unloaded. Following the example, Jim has told you that he will be arriving at the consignee at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Because this is not a step a load takes during the process, there is no updating critical load information. This is just a step taken to ensure that there are no unexpected delays and that the driver will be on time to the delivery. The next check call would be made to the carrier at the scheduled delivery appointment time. This is to confirm that the carrier has arrived and is waiting to be unloaded. Based on the example, you should call Jim at 6 o'clock a.m. Central Standard Time to confirm his arrival at the consignee. Following the example, Jim tells you that he has arrived at 7 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time and is being unloaded. You should be able to update Aljax based on the information given to you by the driver. Once you update Aljax with the new information, it will progress the load to the next step from loaded to consignee. The last and final step in the track and trace process is calling to confirm the delivery two hours after the scheduled delivery appointment time and requesting the proof of delivery. Basin Logistics has a two hour window for loading and unloading, and if the driver hasn't been loaded or unloaded in that window, accessorial charges will be charged appropriately. Please contact the account manager in this situation. Following the example, you should call Jim at 8 o'clock a.m. Central Standard Time to confirm that he has been unloaded and delivered. After you call, Jim tells you that he has been unloaded at 7.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Once you update Aljax with the new information, it will progress the load to the final step in the process from consignee to delivered. Just as a reminder, this example that we walked you through is a perfect scenario of what could or would happen. In a real scenario, you will encounter variables that cause many different circumstances that will require you to use your best judgment and common sense on how to address it. Remember, if you have any questions, please consult the process manual for more details. If you still need clarification, please see your supervisor.